Now, over here we have a little apparatus that allows the voltage to take over and restrict the amps in it. Now, for those who have never seen the process or have not seen the process, uh, come on up. I'd like to show this and demonstrate it to you. Now, what we're going to do here is to actually show that, in fact, that by restricting the amps, voltage take over, that voltage does, in fact, influence the disassociation of the water molecule. Now, I'm under the prior state of the art says the only the average potential of a fuel cell was around two volts and then you socked in as many amps as you possibly can because when you put an electrolyte in the water now the purpose for the electrolyte is that the still water is an insulator to the flow of DC current so they have to add an electrolyte to the water in order to electrify the water to allow amp flow to go into the system so automatically a amp device or electrolysis process is a dead short condition operates in a dead short condition and because of that, it will not allow voltage to come up. It sucks in as much amps as it possibly can. So under the prior state of the art, around two volts of potential, you can see that there's no form of hydrogen gas being developed. Now I'm going to now adjust the attenuation of voltage amplitude upward, and I'm going to adjust it to such an extent that only allow just the hydrogen and oxygen gases now to be developed. Now you see these gases coming up? You're now producing hydrogen and oxygen gas in the most economical means. Now, I'm going to use you as an experimenter here. I want you to put your hands on there and tell me if that's a cold or hot process. Is it cold or hot? Cold. Okay, now, if you can sit down, and then I'm going to have you come back up and forth. Now, leaving the power supply exactly constant, if I remove the voltage zones inward, I'm leaving the electronics exactly constant now. The only parameter that I'm changing is the physical parameter of the voltage zones. Now I'm going to adjust the voltage down because I'm producing it too high. The purpose is to just to show you the phenomena. Now leaving the, I'm going to adjust it downward, leaving the electronics exactly constant, the only parameter I'm changing is the physical parameter. As you bring the voltage zones in, it influences the disassociation of water molecule even faster. So as I do this now, tell me if the hydrogen gas is being increased. Yeah, shut it off too much. Let me do it again now. Murphy's Law came into existence. All right, now, when I move the, the voltage zones backwards, tell me if the hydrogen gas slows down. Did it slow down? All right, now, moving the physical parameters together again, tell me if the hydrogen and oxygen gas being generated is now being speeded up. That, in fact, shows, in fact, that voltage does influence the disassociation of the water molecule. And when we present this to the examiner chiefs of the United States Patent Office 101, showing operability, they stated, in fact, that there was no other form of apparatus that we needed to show that voltage does influence the disassociation of the water molecule. Now, as a counterproof to this, we move the voltage zones backwards to one end spacing, and I now should be able to attenuate the voltage upward, and increasing the voltage upward should increase hydrogen gas generation. Now, I'm going to raise it up a little bit and tell me if the hydrogen gas speeded up. Did it speed up? All right, now I'm going to lower the voltage down and tell me if it slows down. Slow down. All right, now I'm going to adjust it up again. Now, do you see any hidden tubes or anything in the apparatus? This is ordinary little 18 gauge wire, by the way. You speed up. Okay, now over here, to show you another form of the, we are not demonstrating in this to you under the ideal condition. All we want to do is to show you basic principles that we have solved the engineering design interfacing capabilities of utilizing ordinary natural water as a new energy source. Now, if I can sustain a hydrogen and oxygen flame well over 5,000 degrees under controlled state, then it's quite obvious that I'm releasing energy from water that if you shove it into a carburetor, you can actually run a car, a car down the road on water, right?